Let's go ahead and finish out Radical Equations Worksheet Part 1, which is the Easy Radical Equations Worksheet under CUDA software. And I'll leave a link in the description below. So for number 20, we have that the square root of 3n plus 12 equals the square root of n plus 8. We're going to start by squaring both sides. When we do this, the square root of 3n plus 12 squared is simply 3n plus 12. And the square root of n plus 8 squared is just n plus 8. Then it's a multi-step equation. I'm going to subtract an n from both sides to get that 2n plus 12 equals 8. And then I'm going to subtract the 12 from the left-hand side. And whatever I do to the left, I need to do to the right side of the equals sign. That'll leave me with 2n on the left equaling a negative 4 on the right. Divide by 2 on both sides to get that n is equal to a negative 2 for number 20. Number 21, the square root of n equals the square root of 2n minus 6. Start by squaring both sides. That'll leave us with n on the left side equal to 2n minus 6 on the right. Go ahead and subtract 2n from both sides. You'll have a negative 1n on the left and a negative 6 on the right. When you divide by negative 1, you'll get that n is equal to a positive 6 for number 21. 22, we have the square root of 11 minus x equals the square root of x minus 7. When we square both sides, what's left on each is what's within the square root. So we'll have 11 minus x left on the left and x minus 7 left over on the right. I'll go ahead and start by adding an x to both sides. Then we'll have 11 on the left and x plus x equals 2x, and then we still have that minus 7. So 11 equals 2x minus 7. Then I'll add 7 to both sides, and we'll have that 18 equals 2x. Our last step is to divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 2x divided by 2 is x. 9 equals x for number 22. 23, the square root of 72 minus x equals the square root of x over 5. We're still going to start by squaring both sides. When we do that, what's underneath or within the square root or radical will be left. So on the left-hand side, we'll have 72 minus x, and on the right-hand side, we'll have x divided by 5. Go ahead and multiply by 5 over 1 at the start, which is simply multiplying by 5. When we do this, we're multiplying that entire side. So on the right-hand side, we'll be left with x, but on the left, we're going to have to distribute the 5. 5 gets multiplied to 72, and it also gets multiplied to x. 5 times 72 is 360, and then we're going to subtract 5 times x, which is 5x. Now, add a 5x to both sides. That way, we're left with only a whole number on the left, which is 360, and x plus 5x is 1x plus 5x, so a 6x on the right. When we divide by 6, notice 6 goes into 360 60 times. So for number 23, we have that 60 is equal to x. Number 24, the square root of x plus 3 equals the square root of 1 minus x. Squaring both sides, we'll have x plus 3 on the left and 1 minus x on the right. I'm going to add an x to both sides, and I'm also, since this will be 0, I want to have this 3 minus something to equal 0 as well, so I'll be left with x's on the left and whole numbers on the right. In order to do that, I'm going to subtract a 3. And whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. So I'll be left with 2x on the left, and 1 minus 3 is a negative 2 on the right. Divide both sides by 2 to get that x is equal 
to negative 1. Number 25, again, since we have square roots on both sides, we're going to start by squaring. We'll be left with 2k plus 40 on the left and negative 16 minus 2k on the right. I'm going to add a 2k to both sides. Doing this, we'll have that 4k plus 40 equals negative 16. Now I'm going to subtract a 40 from the left so that this is 0, and then I have to do the same on the right-hand side. That leaves me with 4k on the left, and that equals negative 16 minus 40 is negative 56. Then all I have to do is divide by 4. That will leave me with k equaling negative 56 divided by 4 is going to be a negative number, and 56 divided by 4 is 14. So k equals negative 14 for number 25. And on to the last problem, 26. The square root of x plus 8 equals the square root of 3x plus 8. We're going to start by squaring both sides. When we do this, we'll have x plus 8 on the left and 3x plus 8 on the right. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract an 8 from the, both sides and I'm going to subtract an x from both sides. I'll be left with 0 on the left, 3x minus x is 2x, and 8 minus 8 is 0. So 0 is equal to 2x, and when I divide by 2, 0 divided by any quantity is 0. So 0 is going to be equal to x for number 26. Go ahead, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also go into my tutorial section on YouTube if you need help with radical equations. Please feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.